so I've been on YouTube for about two years now and I thought I would take a look at my most viewed video which is my Supernatural Jack speed paint which is also my second earliest video and <laughs> I just thought it was quite shocking to see the differences between what quality of video I do now versus what I did back then. Now my... <laughs> in the beginning I started with finding my reference and setting up my canvas which is really not what you want to start a speed paint with. And the entire video is kind of um got black bars, it's not the correct kind of uh, aspect ratio, and it's, you can see my toolbar, um, that's definitely not something you want in your video, but I, I still haven't managed to figure out how to get the um, view of the mouse away, so maybe that that's something I'll have to fix one day and I can look back and cringe. But <laughs> it was very different to see my process that I did when I was first starting out because during this time I hadn't become very comfortable with using digital mediums. I was using paint or sci. Because I'd been told by everyone that paint or sigh was the best. Uh, I actually genuinely hated using paint or sigh. I hated the smoothness of everything and no matter what brush I used, even if I customised it, it still just wasn't for me. But now I, I use Photoshop. Uh, I don't pay for it, but you won't tell anyone that. <laughs> and I think it's probably quite different to see how I line and everything and how I colour. In the don't get me started on the old colouring and the old lining that is and oh my god, and colour picking it's it, it's very disheartening to see knowing what I knowing what I know now. But yeah, with with my new piece I spent a lot more time, well I spent an hour on this and I'm not sure how long I spent on the old one. I, I don't know, probably maybe half an hour, 40, no not 45 minutes, about half an hour on it because I just really wanted to get the proportions correct and really actually, you know, look at my reference and what I was working with. Because, um, in my old one, he does look like Jack. I will give myself that. I think he still looks like Jack. And it was actually surprisingly difficult this time around in order to get that same likeness. I, I tried many tweaks, many flipping the canvas, and the eyes... Oh, damn, the, the eyes were so difficult if I'm honest, like, but I think this time around it actually looks good. Um, I don't have too much to say, but just the canvas usage, I had so much blank space and the editing was just non-existent. I sped it up and I called it a day, but now I, I really try to polish my editing because I just feel like it makes it just a little bit nicer to watch. And <laughs> I don't use royalty free music. I don't, I'm not getting paid for this. I just, I don't know why. I, I, I have a feeling that I would just, YouTube would be like, <sighs> and like kick me off if I used any rope, like, as long as I don't get banned in other countries, I still use the audio. Like, I'm really not fussed about it. But, you know, if you are looking at doing YouTube, 
and doing speed paints, just just keep going, you know. Eventually you'll eventually you'll get there. I'm not saying that I've I've gotten there. I've been doing it for two years. Not and I've posted what ten times. I'm not a professional, but just even in the ten videos that I've made, the quality and what I've learnt has just skyrocketed and the quality of my artworks has also skyrocketed and I'm really proud of that and I think you know I think people should just be more proud of their work anyway um that's really all I have to say um enjoy the video and I'll see you next time bye <laughs>